Hey everybody, this is Don over Johnny's Used Cars. Today I'm going to show you this 2011 uh, Subaru Legacy B4 Turbo. This is the new body design and one of the newer ones that, we've have, that we have in. It's got uh, 97,000 kilometers on it, or 97? 93, sorry, which is uh, 93,000 kilometers on it, which is uh, almost 58,000 miles. Before we get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So our price you're seeing on the website right now will not be the final price when you come on a lot. Also, if you're arriving in Okinawa soon or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny's Used Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's going to have a look around. I'll show you the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos. I'm going to answer a lot of your questions. So things like the JCI, the warranty, the road tax. I cover all that and more. So please bear with me until the end. You have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. The Subaru Legacy B4 is a five-passenger vehicle in the uh, 300 series category, so the larger category. Road tax per year is going to be 19,000 yen, which is about $160 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame. So we're going to take care of it for you this year. You won't have to worry about it until next year. Now you do have uh, two options to pay for it. First one being US dollars cash out rate, which could get you a larger discount. Or you can take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down, reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more. Up to you. Before I go inside, I always like showing the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit this way. If it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is it's going to give that cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out, and always get yourself a good windshield visor. Okay? So with that, let's go ahead and jump on inside. Let's get this baby started. All right, so uh, key fob on your person, foot on the brake. It is a push start. You push this one time. And it goes. All right, let's get this in here. 93,035 on the odometer. Uh, let's show you a couple of warning lights. That one right there is your new temperature gauge. So it's gonna be blue when the engine's cool. When the engine warms up, it's gonna go away. And it'll be red if it's overheating. Be on the lookout for that. Uh, over here, you have your, um, obviously your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. And then that circular one is your emergency brake, okay? It's not a low pressure tire gauge. Now this one's a little different. So with your foot on the brake, you gotta you gotta pull this towards you, and you get here it's disengaging. Okay, now it's off. So when you push it, it's gonna engage. You'll hear it again. This light is on, and now it just came back. Anything pops up on the dash while you're driving, please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action. Other than that, it's just very simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. Okay. Off to the left here, you do have your uh, display that's gonna show you the outside temperature and the time. You have your uh, monitor here. This one does have a rear camera. You have your radio, air conditioning controls. Um, little little uh, pocket here made for the coins and whatnot, a power outlet. Your shifter. This is the type of drive that you want. So maybe you wanted a, a sport or intelligent or whatnot. Then you can do it all right from here. Uh, heated seats for the brutal uh, winters out here. Cup holders. Your armrest slash console. First other one's gonna give you a little um, uh, tray right there, and then a little extra um, space down here. Then this one, an extra power outlet, okay? Put that back down. Continuing it off the left, you got your uh, glove box over here, a little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel. That is your passenger space over there. You got your red row flare hanging out. Then this is the space I have on my side. I am 511 as everybody loves knowing. Uh, on these new Legacies and Imprezas, uh, this one being a Legacy, there's just a lot of space, okay? Uh, so I'm pretty much extended. I, um, I probably, I could drive like this, but I wouldn't be too comfortable. So I would definitely slide this up a few inches just to be a little more comfortable driving. All right, that's my eye level right there. Uh, you can see uh, some of the hood and the hood scoop. Let's so go all the way back. Now I'd like to take this time to show you the auction sheet, showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind, non-accident vehicle from mainland. All these other dealers out here can't tell you that. We can on all our cars. And there's actually some dealers that'll try to discredit this uh, auction sheet. Stop by, we'll tell, we'll tell you why. All right, but this is graded four from the auction and a CNC for the exterior interior. So it's a really good grade for this. And that's gonna be up here on the sun visor on the driver's side so you can see that for yourself. Um, this one does have the eyesight um, uh, feature. I'm not too well uh, versed on it. So uh, you can look it up, but it's called the eyesight, okay? Uh, what else do I wanna show you? So we're going to turn this off just so there's a little less noise. All you have to do, your foot does not have to be on a brake this time. You just put, uh, push the, uh, uh, the push start and stop and it turns off. So here you have your mirror controls. This one right there is to control the um, illumination of the dash. 
I already showed you the uh, parking brake. And then this is, I think it's a parking assist if you're on hills. And then um, don't forget your trunk. You just keep that pushed until you hear it go. This guy right here is the electronic toll collector, your ETC reader. This works like easy pass in the States if you're able to get the card for it for the expressway. And then you go all the way back here, that's your hood release. And then please don't forget down here, you have your gas cover release on the floor. Then on the right side, you do have your door lock and window controls right here. And this does have a couple uh, settings uh, for memory of your seat. I uh, think that's pretty much it. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but all the way back here. Now these really do have an impressive amount of space. Uh, so with that seat all the way back, all the way down, and I said I would, uh, I would definitely slide this up a few inches to be a little more comfortable driving. Look, I'm still four inches, four or five inches away from the back seat to my knees. Uh, each seat back still, this new design still copies the old design with this netting. I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, right here, it doesn't come out a lot. This comes out, and it, it, I don't know what you're going to put in there. All right, but just be careful what you do put in there. It doesn't have a lot of give. You don't want to rip it. And then a little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel. And this does have the all-important vents. You definitely want this in the up position, so it's going to help cool down the car a lot quicker in the summertime. Make sure that air is coming out. And then in the middle here, you do have your center console that comes down and stays level. It's going to give you two extra cup holders, okay? Let's go on back here. It is the all-wheel drive. And look at that space. Just a huge amount of space back here if you need to haul stuff, okay? Let's go to the front here. Show the engine compartment, they're gonna wrap this video up. All right. So this, uh, unlike the previous model, this is a 2.5 liter turbo, okay, instead of the two liter. So they upgraded the engine. It is a beaut, still a boxer engine, nice and uh, clean. All right, there you have it. 2011 uh, Subaru Legacy B4 Turbo. It's got 97, did I say 90? No, I keep getting that mixed up. 93,000 kilometers on it, which is about 57,000 miles. Military price goes down to uh, 7,000. With an additional military discount, we'll get it down to 6,800. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on lot discounts, and you will get a lower price on this. But for now, the uh, 6,800 will include a two-year JCI, the one-year bumper-to-bumper full warranty, the new 2023 road tax, and a 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing I thought would be the American insurance requirement, whether you're going to liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick. Yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, I'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealer, see what they have, check out the condition, mileage, and pricing of their vehicles, then stop by Johnny's Used Cars, let us show what we have, what our program's all about, and how we're going to assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. Stop by, we'll show you why, like we have many, many others. So don't forget, two ways to pay for it. U.S. dollars cash outright. We're taking advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Either way, we're good to go. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.